is continuing to build on its export and foreign exchange earning potential by securing a major contract in New York. Managing Director of Undercover Canvas and Awnings, Nigel Richings, left Barbados this afternoon to start work on the first of those contracts at a Manhattan hotel. The awnings feature a design unique to the local company and installation is expected to take about three days. We're going to be working on a hotel called Fitzpatrick Grand Central. It's directly across the road from Central, Grand Central Station. It's on 44 and Lex. Uh, it's a four-star hotel and the guy that owns it, he's an he's, uh, Irishman, so he's American Irish, and uh, he owns two hotels in New York, one in Chicago and one in Ireland. Mr. Witching says he has always wanted to establish a business with an emphasis on export and foreign exchange generation. His company has already done work in Martinique this year, and after the job in Manhattan is complete, they will be moving on to another one in Brooklyn. Well, I'm very, very happy that we were able to generate foreign currency. It's one of the things that I set out to do ever since I came back from living in Spain. I always wanted to be an exporter because Doyle Offshore Sales, 99% uh, of their business is export. And I always knew that they were, qu they were doing quite well with the export and their name is all over the world. The Barbados Light and Power Company has appointed a managing director designate. He is Roger Blackman, formerly the company's business development manager. He will assume the new position following the retirement of former managing director Mark King on April the 30th this year. Mr. Blackman has served Light and Power in increasingly senior roles over the past 23 years. While he will assume the managing director designate role immediately, Mr. Blackman and his family will relocate to Halifax, Nova Scotia on September the 1st. While there, he will work with the senior strategy team at parent company Emera Incorporated for 18 to 24 months. Now, here's a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. 